government of Baja California, I'm the Center for Scientific Research and Higher Education of Ensenada, CISESE, in cooperation with the Global Risk Identification Program, GRIP, present an overview of disaster risk assessments and their use in decision-making and disaster management and development planning in Baja California, Mexico. Baja California, one of the 32 states of the Republic of Mexico, is located at the northwest extreme of Mexico with an area of around 72,000 square kilometers and a population of 3.1 million in 2009. Baja California consists of five municipalities, Mexicali, Ensenada, Tijuana, Tecate, and Rosarito, of which Tijuana is the largest municipality in population, accounting for 50.6% of the state's total population. Baja California is exposed to various natural hazards that may cause major damage and losses to the state, such as earthquakes, floods, landslides, droughts, and Santa Ana winds accompanied by wildfires. Historically, these hazards have caused severe damage and losses to buildings, critical facilities, network structure, crops and livestock, as well as human lives. The five major hazards have different impacts to different municipalities. Earthquakes are the main hazard in the state. Mexicali, the capital city of Baja California, has mainly been threatened by earthquakes. From 1927 to 2010, Mexicali has experienced five disastrous earthquakes. The latest earthquake, which occurred in April 2010, resulted in losses of around 430 million US dollars to both the rural and urban areas of Mexicali. It has taken a year and a half for the city to reach the basic recovery. Flood is the second most important hazard in Baja California. Since its foundation about 100 years ago, Tijuana has experienced eight devastating floods that have considerably affected the city's population and economy. Ensenada is the second city of the state most affected by floods, followed by Mexicali and Rosarito. Landslides in Baja California are mainly caused by unplanned urban growth on unstable slopes. Tijuana is the city most affected by landslides with at least six major recorded landslides that damaged houses, aqueducts, and roads. The whole state is threatened by droughts and Santa Ana winds that may pose major damage and losses to the state's economy. In particular, wildfires frequently triggered by Santa Ana winds may destroy grazing fields significantly and thus cause severe damage to the state's economy that is featured by livestock. Drought has a broad range of impacts as well, but there have been a few studies on its occurrence and associated effects in the changing climate setting. Each municipality in Baja California has conducted a number of studies on the impacts of extreme natural events including reporting of past disasters, hazard assessment and mapping, identification of physical and social vulnerabilities, and risk analysis. A systematic inventory and evaluation of what already exists in the state in terms of risk assessment which has been recently conducted with the technical and financial support from GRIP has systematically dealt with the current status strengths and weaknesses, issues and challenges, gaps and needs that the state is facing to implement a comprehensive assessment of risks and disasters.
In Baja California, most natural hazard risk assessments have been carried out by the local academic institutions in collaboration with the government authorities at all levels such as federal, state and municipal. In many cases, strong support, both technical and financial, was provided for disaster risk reduction studies by the UN agencies and international organizations such as UNDP GRIP, IDMDR, UNESCO, UN Habitat, and so on. However, existing risk assessments for Baja California mainly covered three major hazards only. Earthquakes, floods, and landslides. In particular, earthquake risk assessments are mostly comprehensive and have provided useful information for decision making in disaster management and development planning with realistic damage scenarios that have been used to identify affordable mitigation measures and to prepare proper post-earthquake response actions. The first comprehensive project on risk assessment was carried out in 1998 as part of the initiative of UN's International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction IDNDR. Tijuana was selected as one of the nine pilot cities to implement the risk assessment tools for diagnosis of urban areas against seismic disaster project, later called RADIUS. This project has significantly contributed to raising awareness among the communities on the existing risk and affordable ways to reduce it. In addition, with the support of UN agencies, Baja California has also implemented many other risk assessment projects. For example, the Global Earthquake Safety Initiative, GESI, was carried out in 2010 in Tijuana and Mexicali. The UNESCO Cross-Cutting Project for Risk Reduction was implemented in 2003 in Tijuana. In 2009, in collaboration with UN Habitat and GRIP, Tijuana conducted risk mapping for a strategic planning of shelter response and in 2011, Baja California completed a comprehensive situation analysis for risk assessment with the technical and financial support from GRIP. The municipality of Tijuana has applied the hazard risk assessment results to develop disaster prevention and emergency response measures, delineate contingency plans, and prepare hazard atlases for earthquakes, floods, and landslides. Likewise, the results of risk studies have been used to prepare guidelines for emergency response. The government of Baja California implemented an initiative to enhance earthquake school safety. A summary of risk assessment projects that have been applied in public decision making is presented in this table along with the resulting strategies and policies. Through the risk assessment exercises, a strong and effective coordination mechanism for DRR has been established as well. For example, the Tijuana Radius Group, TRG, which was established in 1999 and consists of representatives from over 40 institutions of Tijuana and other municipalities of the state, has been acting as a key coordinator and technical advisor to support the implementation of DRR strategies and projects. Since 1998, the group has regularly met every month to promote the implementation of Disaster Risk Reduction Action Plan for Tijuana. In order to extensively engage the communities into DRM process, Tijuana has passed the law for the establishment of the Community and Scientific Advisory Council in January 2010, based on work and contributions of the Tijuana Radius Group. This advisory council 
has been designed as a mechanism to facilitate the incorporation of disaster risk considerations in public decision making and to ensure the institutionalization of the activities. The practice of Tijuana is now being replicated both in other municipalities of Baja California and at the state level. In particular, after the Mexicali earthquake disaster of April 2010, both the state and local authorities sought the experience gained in Tijuana to address their earthquake risks in their development planning. Both experts from CCC and members of the Tijuana Radius Group have directly advised the state governor and the Mexicali mayor on post-earthquake recovery and reconstruction activities. After more than 10 year practice, Baja California has developed many strengths in conducting risk assessments. For example, tools and basic data sets are very complete and of good quality, which form a good basis for comprehensive hazard risk assessment in the state. Sismological network for northwestern Mexico and the corresponding database, in addition of an accelerometric network, has been installed in Mexicali. Weather stations and a well-established meteorological forecast laboratory. Data and microzonation maps with good resolution for earthquake hazard and susceptibility maps for flood hazards good methodologies and experience in earthquake risk assessment developed in the cities of Tijuana, Ensenada and Mexicali and that can be applied statewide and to other cities of Mexico. And academic institutions with highly qualified staff with PhD and master's degrees in fields related to the various natural hazards. While the state has made significant progress in implementing disaster risk assessments and applying risk information to policy and decision making, there are still many issues and challenges that need to be properly addressed. The following are among the most important. Most of the studies implemented for Baja California are only in hazard analysis and do not evaluate potential losses. Risk and hazard concepts are often confused and improperly used as synonyms. The other elements to be included in a risk study, such as exposure and physical, social and economic vulnerabilities, are usually not properly considered or not considered at all. There are no studies of risk assessment for municipalities where hazards are not frequent. For example, Playa de Rosarito, and Tecate. There are also few experts on risk assessment and risk management and they are not enough to satisfy the state risk management needs. There are insufficient socio-economic experts, structural engineers and vulnerability assessment experts. Expertise in risk evaluation for hydrometeorological hazards is especially lacking. The risk assessment results are minimally utilized, if at all. Good studies are not known by potential users and therefore not utilized. Funding for risk assessments is not available. Political and institutional interest and support are insufficient too. However, projects supported by the UN agencies and other international organizations have helped to increase the interest of the authorities and community leaders. To strengthen disaster risk management in Baja California, it is necessary to involve the various sectors of society. This would help them to understand the risks affecting their particular sector and find effective solutions to reduce them. This would also promote exchange and integration of information and the consideration of the interests of all sectors in the solutions and recommendations that may be proposed. It would generate ownership by all sectors and in this way 
prepare the necessary conditions for the implementation of the mitigation options identified by risk studies. The current situation of risk assessment and management in Baja California, which is reported here, has been assessed through the implementation of the GRIPS methodology for the systematic inventory and evaluation for risk assessment, Sierra. This assessment has produced specific recommendations to advance in the long-term process of reducing disaster risk to acceptable levels. The following are among the most important recommendations. Establishment of institutional agreements and cooperation mechanisms needed for the implementation of the state risk assessment for Baja California. This has started with the signing of cooperation agreements between the mayors of five municipalities and the state government to reduce the risk associated with natural hazards in Baja California. Establishment of the risk information system for Baja California that compiles and integrates all the existing risk information. Increase the involvement of all stakeholders in setting up priorities and defining concrete actions for effective risk reduction. Preparation of a comprehensive hazard profile for the state. Development of the municipality and state risk atlases. For the future development, the following points have been recommended. Implementation of a comprehensive state risk assessment for Baja California, building on the existing information and studies compiled through Sierra. Delineation of a long-term widely agreed and supported disaster risk reduction strategy based on the results of the state risk assessment for Baja California. An institutional framework has been proposed for the coordination and implementation of future risk assessment activities in Baja California. With the leadership of the state government, all the sectors of society have a role in understanding the disaster risk and identifying effective and affordable mitigation options to save lives and protect the development of Baja California.